When you create a presentation in Keynote for iPad, it would be really nice if you had a map and could put a spotlight on one particular part of the map, like this. Or it'd be really nice if you had a group of people or minifigures and you wanted to pick out one particular person in the crowd and you could dim the whole scene and put a light on one figure, like this. Or what if you had a passage of text and you wanted to zoom in on one particular verse or sentence? like this. Well now you can with what I call the spotlight technique for Keynote on your iPad and I'll show you how today. We open up Keynote, we're going to create a new slide, we're going to create a photo slide and then from uh, the photo slide we'll click on the bottom right corner here and we'll choose a different photo and pick a map and that'll fill the whole screen. And what's important is you want to get it all set up the way you want it for your slide to start with. Now we're going to go down here to the slide and we're going to duplicate it. So now we have two identical slides. On the second slide, tap on that image and hit copy. Don't paste it yet. We have something else we have to do first. We're going to go up here and tap this paintbrush while we have the image selected still. And we have an opacity option here. We're going to slide that down somewhere around 17 to 20 percent, depending on how bright your screen is. Obviously, the less opacity, uh, the darker it's going to be. Uh, and it's very important that when you do this, the background of your slide is set up as black. You can change that here in the color settings. Now we have this all set up. We're going to paste in that picture again. And it's in the exact same spot. It's very important. Go up here to the plus sign. We're going to click on this tab here and choose a circle. And for today's purposes, we're going to take that circle, we're going to put it over uh, Australia. We'll make it a little bit bigger. Got it in place. Now, with that selected, hold your finger on the shape. With another finger, tap the image. So both are selected now. Now, you can right click or tap on there and choose mask with shape and hit done. And you have this spotlight section. Go back to your first slide and choose transition. We'll just do a dissolve. And when you play that slide, now your map looks like you're shining a flashlight over Australia. The same thing can be done with a group picture or with text. We'll create a new slide, again, photo slide. We'll go and add that image. And then we'll duplicate that slide. Go to the second one, copy the image, go up to our paintbrush, drag this opacity, 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 however you want to say it, tomato, tomato, get it down about 17%, that's where I like it, paste the image, go up here, add a circle, we're going to pick a figure, this time we'll pick this blue guy over here, Well, that one's uh, selected, hold it with one finger, with another finger, tap the image, and now tap mask with shape. And now when you set your transition to dissolve, you'll get that spotlight technique, just to show you how that looks. We can look at one particular person. And then once again, like the text we showed you, if you have a selection of text on the screen or a picture of a text, you just set that image up again duplicate that slide on this one select the image and again you don't want uh, this to be in the background you want to be able to select it we're going to copy it now I go up here set that down about 17 percent when we're showing a text like this we actually want to make it a little bit higher we're going to set this around 30 percent so it's not quite so dark now we'll paste this time, instead of a circle, we're going to choose a rounded rectangle. And because we want to look at this real closely, we actually can take two fingers and, and do the opposite of a pinch to spread out and to zoom in. Now we can move this over just the part we want. Now with that selected, also tap on the image, mask with shape, hit done. Now we'll go over to that slide, set our transition to dissolve. And now we can show one particular verse on this whole slide. That is how you do the spotlight technique 
on Keynote for iPad. If you want to see an advanced way to do this, there's a link in the description. I also have two more videos that show how to do this on your Mac, where you can make it look even more authentically like a spotlight with some of the options you have there that aren't available on the iPad. If you like this video, do me a favor and hit that like button. If you uh, have some thoughts on this and want to share a comment or a question, please do so in the comments below. If there's somebody you know who might benefit from seeing this video, if you'd hit that share button and send the link over to them. Finally, if you haven't already, if you'd hit that subscribe button, then you'll know when we've got new videos coming out. Thanks for checking out this video, and I'll see you next time.